always did art as a kid and grew up in a family that owned an art supply shop. I actually was a graph kid when I was in school, so me in the streets, running the canals, spray painting things up. That actually, I think, was my first introduction to my own findings of art. And then found ceramics. I did some short courses and goodness, just being around all those artists, they couldn't not kind of enroll and do that. For me, it's figuring out how to talk with my hands. Something that we did when we were younger and play with Play-Doh and all these different things, and it's kind of that same return back. It's to me exploring how I'm feeling through a material and that's been clay at the moment. The inspiration is coming from where I find myself and a lot of the time inspired by nature, finding patterns in the water or seeing shapes come out in the trees or sea pods and things like that and finding and pulling from all these bits of where I move and that's me in the process really trying to tap into feeling what's going on with me, what's going on around me, where I'm getting pulled to, what I'm listening to, what I'm seeing. It's just playing around and playing around with my surroundings. It's a lot of looking and feeling at a piece and almost like figuring out what it wants to be or how best to make it as an object shine itself. It's like, it's not a one size fits all kind of thing. Exploring something through my hands seems like such a nice pace and way to kind of approach things. And it seems like it's aligning with how gentle I'm trying to move with things. I'm not trying to create this perfect thing. I'm just trying to create something with an energy and something that feels kind of balanced.